Hi guys, I introduce myself, I am Alex, I am Italian and I am a PhD student, I am studying math and uh, this is my channel, it's called uh, in Italian Irrationalex but maybe in English is uh, Irrational EX, <laughs> I don't know why but uh, it sounds better and uh, today I want to review with you to show you a proof of the infinity of prime numbers. This proof, uh, I think, dates back in, in 1955 and it's due to Fürstenberg. Uh, Fürstenberg is a famous mathematician. I think he also won the Abel Prize, so he's a sort of god of maths. Mm, at the time he was only 20 years old, so he was just a student. And the beauty of his proof is uh, its topological nature. So, why not? Let's start. As I said before, I want to show you a proof of the infinity of prime numbers. So, prime numbers are infinite. This is not an infinite factorial, but <laughs> it's an exclamation mark. This book, the first number in 1950. Okay. To do so, we want to introduce a topology, of course. We have Z, the set of integers, and uh, we want to introduce a topology on Z, um, imposing that a subset of Z is open if and only if for every a in U, so for every point in U, in particular for every integer in U, there exists an arithmetic progression called A and Z, totally contained in U itself. The first thing we want to view is the um, empty set and the whole set. The empty set clearly corresponds to an empty uh, arithmetic progression, so is good and uh, um, clearly z can be written as 0 plus uh, uh, 1z so in particular z is uh, itself an arithmetic progression and so uh, also z is uh, open in the union property so we want to show that if we have a collection of open sets with the uh, big I set uh, in general of multi indices, so it can be infinite. And we want to show that the union of all these sets uh, is still open. So uh, let's consider the union of UI and uh, take uh, a number, so a point uh, in this union. In particular, there exists uh, an I bar, let's call it such that uh, A is in U i bar. But since uh, U i bar is open, there exists a um, arithmetic progression all contained in U i bar, so in particular it's contained in the union, the good properties. The last step is the intersection. We have a finite intersection of open sets, so let's call U1 up to U k, and consider u bar equals u1 intersect uk. Now, u bar we can assume that is not empty, uh, otherwise we already know that the empty set is open, and we are done. Uh, so if uh, u bar is not empty, we can take uh, a number in u bar, in particular a belongs to u1, up to uk. And so uh, for every uh, 1 up to k we have that uh, there exists uh, m1 mk such that uh, a plus m1z is all contained in u1 and a plus mkz is all contained in uk. But now considering uh, m as equal to the product of mi we have that uh, um, the arithmetic progression defined by a plus mz 
is a sub-arithmetic progression of all these uh, k arithmetic progression. In particular, it is contained in u i for every i. But uh, this tells us that uh, uh, a plus m d is contained in u bar. And u bar, by definition, is open. Let's see if I still got the power. We can uh, give two main remarks. The first is the fact that uh, closed set, so closed sets, uh, are not the complement, clearly the complement taken in V, uh, of a finite number of points. Uh, because if a closed set uh, were the complement of a finite number of points, then its complement will be an open set which uh, will consist of a finite number of points. But this is impossible because by construction an open set uh, contains uh, a, um, an arithmetic progression, which is uh, clearly infinite, and so an open set uh, can't be finite. Now, the second uh, remark I want to give you is the fact that an arithmetic progression, a plus mz, is both open and closed. Let us check uh, uh, the open condition. Uh, now, take a point here. So a point here is of the form A plus MB. A plus MB we can view as a part of uh, this arithmetic progression, but this arithmetic progression is still A plus MZ. So we see that for every point in this arithmetic progression, we can take as the arithmetic progression uh, passing through the point uh, the arithmetic progression itself. An arithmetic progression is open. Let us check now the closed condition. For the closed condition, we have a plus mz complement uh, can be written as the union of i running from uh, 1 up to m minus 1 of r plus i z such that uh, um, r is not congruent to a modulo m and so by this we have that this complement is open the complement of the complement so the arithmetic progression itself is closed now we are ready to finish the proof. We checked all the details. And how does it finish? Let us check. Consider uh, the following subset, z minus plus 1 minus 1. Uh, this is a subset of z. And since every number except uh, plus 1 and minus 1 can be written uniquely as a product of primes, we have that this set uh, it's equal to the union of these particular arithmetic progressions where p runs in all the prime numbers. But now, if by contradiction we suppose that the cardinality of all prime numbers is finite, we have that uh, this set, by what uh, we saw, uh, is closed because uh, this arithmetic progression is closed and uh, a finite union of closed sets uh, is still closed. This is closed. But finally, always by what we have seen, z minus uh, plus uh, or minus 1 cannot be closed. Why? Because if these were closed, its complement will be open but its complement is uh, the finite set plus 1 minus 1. And so this we have that is not closed. 
this now gives us the required contradiction and the proof, I think, it's finished. Well, okay guys, uh, we checked together the proof by Furstenberg. It was a very good proof, in my opinion. It's very funny how topology, which uh, in general is far from uh, being uh, simple in nature, maybe, is related with a sort of uh, a more uh, intuitive uh, notion, like a prime number. This connection, in my opinion, is very, very cool. <laughs> okay, this video has come to an end. Please subscribe to my channel. I am Italian, so I don't know the rate of uh, the language of my videos. Maybe 50% in Italian and 50% in English. I don't know. But uh, if you like this type of content, please subscribe. There is a banner here, I think. Well, if there are questions or maybe uh, doubts or advices for improvements or for new contents, Please uh, write in on the comments and uh, we'll see soon, I think next Friday. What else? Nothing. See you soon, guys.